Hi, Aries. <laughs> this is Moon Pie Tarot. Um, we're going to do your next 10 days love reading for Aries Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So please remember some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. This will be for the next 10 days. So whenever you click on the video and 10 days going forward, um, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. And you can follow me on Instagram under it's at Moon Pie Tarot. Okay, Aries, so I already have your cards here placed. So I'm going to pull some cards from the overall energy to see. This is a love reading. So top row will be your person. Bottom row is you. If you're new um, or returning, welcome. Please do hit the like, subscribe uh, buttons. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be alerted for when I upload readings. All right. All right, let's take a look and see what the overall energy is. Okay. Oh, three cards just pulled out. Okay. Positive movement forward and truth. Wow. Somebody's, somebody's coming in to express how they feel. And we also have shadow. So there's an energy here. Somebody coming out of the shadows, out of the dark to express how they feel for you. Or it could be vice versa. You could be doing this to somebody else or both of you. Coming out of the dark and giving some truth. Now, it's interesting. Your person has the Ace of Swords and you, and you have the Ace of Cups. Um, so there's a potential new start I'm picking up here. Um, somebody's been hidden. Or, or you and this person have been just in the dark with each other about uh, the truth about feelings about this relationship positive movement forward is that eight of wands this is like good news coming in travel um, expressing someone expressing how they feel that's cupid's arrows now let's take a look at your person okay so on the board before i get started we do have virgo taurus capricorn libra All right, so if that resonates for you, great. If not, don't worry about it. Your person could have placements somewhere else or, you know, you know, try not to focus too much on the signs. You know who your person is. So I'm seeing the Knight of Swords aggressively coming after an earth sign. Okay, I don't know in what way that means, but feels mostly as an energy that this person is going after, <clears throat> excuse me, their abundance. <clears throat> They're going after so the queen of pentacles. She sits there. Pan is on the top of her throne, which represents um, sensual, sexual energy. And I'm feeling like fertility. I feel like this person is, is like charging in with some truth about what they're doing or what's going on in their life at this time, okay? Um, there's something to do with a mother figure or uh, uh, just like a mother figure is how I feel. But I'm going to pull a clarifying card for that. But there is, so we have Leo here. There is communication, victorious communication coming from this person. Now, you could be connected with a Libra, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, this could be a coming back, coming back around kind of thing. It feels like this person, your, your particular person, Gosh, for some of you, um, this person is coming in to give some truths about a pregnancy or some kind of a new beginning happening here because I'm feeling like something possibly to do with a child. But, and I, this just flipped out, so I have nowhere exactly to put this, but I was feeling the Empress with the Sun card. There's some good news coming in from your person, Aries.
it, this is positive news for you. So I don't know. For some of you, this, you know, they might be communicating with you for some that they would like to have a child with you. <laughs> I know some of you are like, we just met. That's not going to happen. But, you know, the Knight of Swords is very aggressive and very determined. And it feels like this person, whomever you're connecting with, is very determined to communicate with you and start something with you. I actually want to pull a clarifying card for the Knight of Swords. For others, this person is ending a relationship with someone that they've been involved with. Male or female earth sign. Oh, now we have the Queen of Wands. Well, they're ending something with someone else to be with you. I feel like um, there's communication coming in from this person or you're going to be communicating with them. Because these roles, these can be reversed. You're going to be communicating with them. Um, getting away from the darkness is how I feel. Where, wherever, what was hidden in the shadows is coming out into the light with the sun card. Let's take a look at this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. This Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Very sad. A lot of sadness here. Grief, sadness with the Queen of Pentacles. But there's something that, again, communication here, the Page of Pentacles. There's something starting up here. There's a new beginning. Page of Pentacles talks about opportunity, concepts, new ideas, and plans. Putting something into action. I really feel like... Uh, there's like a wake-up call happening here with this person. They want victory with you. Yep. They're walking away from some things in their life in the past. They're letting things go. Taking, they're on this journey. That, that is what the communication is coming in from them. They're on some kind of journey. They're starting a new path. They're going after that ninth cup. They're leaving someone else behind to come back to you or to connect with you, manifest a new beginning between the two of you, have a new start, definitely. And you're sitting here with the Seven of Swords, like behind the scenes. You're behind the scenes, kind of watching. And the Eight of Pentacles, it's like you're... You're building something here and you're not letting anybody know. I feel like you're trying to get away. You're, a lot of you are just, you've, you, this next 10 days, just kind of like diving into your work, right? Just whew, sneaking away, not letting anyone know you're go, where you're going and just diving into your work. Let's take a look at the Seven of Swords. Okay. Page of Cups. Um, some of you want to communicate with this person and tell them that you want to spend some time with them as soon as you can get away from work. I don't usually pull clarifying cards for the minors, but oh yeah, there is a really strong uh, attraction that you have for your person. Very, very strong. And um, it's almost obsessive. The Ace of Cups is here, though, under their Ace of Swords. You're ready. Like, there's a lot of potential to happen in this relationship. You've got love on your side. They've got truth on theirs. Oh, look. <laughs> They're coming towards you because you hold the Ninth Cup. You hold that contentment, positive, you know, fulfillment, 
right? They're on the journey. They're coming back to you because you hold the cup. And, you know, the ninth cup. He's on the search for the ninth cup. He or she. And here you are <laughs> with it. A lot of you are just really um, obsessed with your work or addicted to work, like you're really doing your job. Yeah, that's all you do. That's all you do. You just work, 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 work. That's it. That's all you're doing. But I feel like this person comes in with this, let's get together, let's spend some time together. It could be travel coming in with this truth for you. And you're just like, yes. And you, you know, you, you try to sneak away to spend some time with them. And you have the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. You're very much holding on to your independence and your being single. And staying in that, you know, abundant energy here. Let's get a card for the Nine of Pentacles. I mean, you're holding fast, holding tight. I feel like you are um, pretty obsessed with staying single. <laughs> like you're really tough to budge and it feels like either because of this person or just in general in your life I don't know that you really want a commitment at this time but you do seem to hold something that this person sees that they're willing to cut others out or not be with anybody else because they want to be with you. Yeah, see, you're kind of like, I don't see you being willing to commit these next 10 days, however, because I feel like you're still like, what else is out there? It's like, you know, um, it's not that you don't have feelings for this person. I think you admire them and you'll find yourself kind of crushing or feeling sweet with them but I feel like you're also keeping your options open and looking to see what else is out there for you or what else could come down the line and it's mostly to do with because of your this thing with your work this thing or projects or whatever you're building or creating it seems to take a priority like you're not willing to let that go so we have Capricorn energy there. <laughs> but I do see that you, you are going to um, surrender. Some of you may have been betrayed or felt betrayed. So that might be why you're holding on, like you're married to your work because you feel safe with that. Um, but I, for others, I do feel like you're going to like surrender to holding on so tight to your careers and because there is like a good thing coming here, coming towards you, a very good thing, but you're not ready to jump in. That's how I feel. You'll, you'll come in and you'll accept and you'll spend some time with this person and sneak away but you're not quite ready to jump in, but you are considering it. It's like, do I just keep myself blocked and hold on and not, you know, let go of my job or anything else with my priorities? Or do I just surrender and, you know, whatever will be, will be and see where it goes. Let's take a look at the love messages from this person who's coming in for you. There's also Gemini energy here. I know I say I'm not going to call out the cards, but if I see the majors, I have to. Let's see. Okay. I will wait for a sign from you. Yep. This person, as soon as they get the sign that you're willing and open to receive them, they're going to wait to see if you put out any feelers. I 
I do feel like for some of you, whomever you're dealing with, you know, you find out they're, they're single and, and you know, with them reaching out, wanting to connect with you, like sneak away, I feel like you'll wait for them to come. You view this person um, as like very, uh, how can I say it? Like just, they're definitely single, but you view them as being someone who's very stable, a stable partner. I just feel like with you, you're like, ah, uh, it's too soon, it's too early to make the call about going into any kind of a committed relationship. But there is going to be communication between both of you these next 10 days. This person is all about truth <laughs> and you're all about the emotions and the love and the affection. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is a twin flame for sure. This is a divine counterpart connection. A new love or recommitment to love is developing here. Aries. They feel that you came closer than anyone. There have been some people in their life and no one tr they feel like no one truly understood them the way you do. And, or have or will and I feel like that's why they're cutting somebody else out of their life I can't stop thinking about you this person's like really they had a lot of shadow work that they needed to do for themselves and so did you but I feel like they're coming out of that. This person wants to be more than just friends with you. You speak to me through music. There could be some kind of connection through music or singing. Here and now, your true love is already part of your life, Aries. This person never left. They're still here. Put away the computer. <laughs> Working less will help strengthen your relationship. See, Aries, I feel like you're probably doing the work therapeutic thing, not all of you, but some of you, to heal from a past betrayal. Maybe you work on your computer. But in order for this connection, because there is potential here, in order for this to blossom and go in the direction you wish for it to go, um, it may be that you need to stop working so much or maybe start tiptoeing out of the office a little bit more or wherever you work to try and like be a little more open to receiving here. You know, it doesn't have to be work. It could just be, I mean, somebody here might be gaming a lot um, or just spending too much time on social media. Let's get a couple of messages from the Moonology deck. Step out of your comfort zone. Wow. Aries. I mean, I don't feel like that's all that hard for you, but there's something going on here for you that you have to get out of whatever you've been in in order to receive this love and this truth. You are good enough. Moon and Virgo. So if you have Moon and Virgo, that's specifically for you, but that's a message from the universe saying, you know what? You're worthy. Aries of what's coming in here for you I don't feel like you're fearful I just feel like um, you just want to be sure that whoever comes into your life or whoever returns that this can actually work this time so you kind of are like trepidatious it's a little bit hesitant Yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. So that's kind of your energy here is what I'm seeing. In other words, it's mutable moon, which means that like this situation can really go in any direction. And because there's a lack of really knowing which direction it could go, you're not going to commit to anything just yet because the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups are all just very sweet, innocent potentials here. So I feel like 
coming out of your comfort zone, stepping out of that is very important so that you can see if there's a possibility for something to move forward. But you're not rushing. This person's rushing though. They're coming in with like, boom, Aries, I want to be with you. I'm giving everyone else up or I'm giving somebody else up to have this beautiful new beginning with you. And that they're coming in with that truth. And they're also trying to sell you on it <laughs> too. I don't know. They're coming in like giving you all the reasons why you guys should do this. All the reasons why you should connect, right? Because the Page of Pentacles like, hey, we could do this. You know, it's like when you're starting a business and you have all these awesome ideas. Oh, well, this can happen. And this is how can things can manifest. Laying their cards on the table and saying, look, we're meant to be together. It's a twin flame love. And um, this person may not realize that, but there is a connection that they recognize. And I feel like there's communication about this. They want to have a family with you or a child or just, you know, have some type of new beginnings. They're very fertile. It's interesting because we don't have anything like a physical intimacy card here. So it feels more like it's beyond just that. It's more than just that. Let's take a look and see. Loving words from Jesus. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew eleven twenty-eight. 28. So I really feel like that's a message for those of you who've been burying yourselves in projects and tasks and work. Um, take some space. Some of you might be connecting with someone who looks like that. <laughs> But it's saying take some space and some time out and to try to enjoy love here for a little while. The season's changing and all kinds of new stuff happening here. Um, get a couple of cards from the fortune cookie deck to see what other messages there are for you. Aries, don't forget to hit like, subscribe on my channel. Change, oh, a change of residence, partner, career. Or job is on the is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and this is exactly what is coming your way. Wow. Property, a property purchase or sale for many, but heed security concerns in any transactions. Okay, challenges. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, that's why I'm feeling there's some hesitancy here. You know, this devil card, Aries, you might have a tendency to get jealous sometimes or be a little obsessed. Um, but it doesn't mean obsessed with a person. It could just be like very obsessed with work or what you're trying to build in your life and not being willing to give that up. Or maybe you get jealous of people who are in better financial positions than you or higher up paid positions. And you're just so determined to keep it going and keep going, going, going. But then it's like at the end of the day, you know, you can't sleep with your money. So... It feels like um, it feels like it's time for you to either try again with someone new or try this with this person. Give it another shot. Give it another chance. Let's get a couple of charms. These are from my Teespring store here on YouTube. This is the Moon Pie Tarot logo mug. So if you purchase this, I think it's $11.11 .11, and you can sit and have coffee or tea with me. Yes, I'm plugging my products. All right, let me see. Oh, what do we have fly out here? Oh, I'm hearing Tinkerbell. We have like a little Tinkerbell fairy. Somebody might have a kitty or a cat named Tinkerbell or likes um, 
Is it Cinderella movie? Or it has like a fairy, fairies in their yard or in their garden? Could be you or a cross watcher. Oh, wow, we have, okay. We're gonna start with this. So we have, um, you guys got some music, and I think that was, um, was there something here about music, wasn't there? You speak to me through music. So whomever sings or does a music thing, this is the twin flame connection, okay? Whether it's you or the cross watcher or your person or whichever, music seems to be, or very strong the glue for this relationship is something that can be identified you know you guys are you and this person maybe somebody's in a band or somebody sings or is in an, a choir or plays an instrument uh, maybe both of you do but there's a very strong connection to music there's also an owl so either somebody really likes owls or lives like in a forest <laughs> like a lot of like a very wooded area where there's owls um somebody likes the rolling stones like a big rolling stones fan and um but the the the, the owl represents wisdom wise somebody there's an energy here of um not running and not jumping but being very wise about a decision and then you also have the tree. So there's a, a, a huge strong possibility for growth here. Again, a potential. But the seeds I feel for some of you, not all of you, have already been planted. If this is a past connection, these seeds have already been planted. And then there's love. Okay. Um, somebody really loves music. I have to say that. I'm going to pull one more charm. I'm also seeing a dream catcher. Somebody likes dream catchers. They uh, have one in their window right now, or they're looking at it. Oh, you have the star. Okay, that's Aquarian energy. So there could be a connection to Aquarius, but wow, somebody's like um, a superstar in music, or they're like kind of well known here. But there's also something to do with the night. Uh, two people either used to meet at night or they meet up. There'll be a meeting up at night within these next 10 days. And there's also um, somebody likes, makes, <laughs> I'm going to say like pancakes or cookies or like baked goods in the shape of a star sometimes. Or maybe made star cookies like around the holidays or something. I can't. I got to do another one. There's a star tattoo also that you guys. All right. They're like, no, keep going with the star because another one fell out. There's something to do like you both are stars or two people. Oh, I also see like somebody sends that emoji with the star eyes. <laughs> They're star eyes. And a, I don't know if it's like a tongue out or a big smiley face, like the star eyes, always sending them to each other or one sends it to the other. <laughs> starry night. A starry night, I'm hearing. Oh, they want to give me a couple more. No, they don't. I'm just shuffling. But you know what? Look, here's the sun. That's the biggest star in the sky. And that's the Leo energy. So if you're connecting with the Leo, that's another confirmation for you. But um, this also feels like the Wheel of Fortune. You know, the sun and the stars, the music, the love, and the growth, and being wise. This relationship, this connection either has been, or there's a coming around again, or it's a, it's a new love. Okay, a recommitment or a new love. And then we also have seahorse. So someone really loves seahorses. But this is mating for life, these seahorses. And um, I'm also hearing if 
if you're female and your person's a male, I'm also hearing that your person may say or has said to you, if I could, if I could birth our child, I would do it if they're a male, which they can't. But seahorse males give birth, so they carry the babies. I'm pretty sure that's right. So that might have been said in the past, or they will say it to you. You know, if I could be the one to do it, I would. And somebody has like a birthmark in the shape of a seahorse, which is, it's kind of like a line, like the shape of this seahorse. Let me show you. It's like a birthmark in that shape, which is really interesting. If you have a birthmark shaped like that, or just like a line of some sort, please let me know. Leave a comment because I would love to know because <laughs> that's a very interesting birthmark shape to have. All right, Aries, so this is your reading for the next 10 days. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, again, please hit the like, subscribe button here on my channel. And um, if you want a personal reading, link is in the description box below. Go ahead and reach out. I have some slots open so you can join me and we'll have a nice long phone conversation. All right, you guys, I'll speak to you very soon. Take care. Bye.